Okay, so I'm Evik Kozakzo, I'm a student at Babel Bay University, and today I'm going to present my research in the area of prompt based image editing for interior design images. And I'm going to firstly uh, present the task. So the, the task is have, having an, an initial image and a des a desired imprint. The, the task is to output or give the resulting image uh, uh, resulted from changing uh, some d details in the, the the initial one based on the given prompt. So it, it can be seen here that from the initial image, the pendant light was uh, uh, removed by some other or L algorithm. And there are diff different uh, applications and in different um, importances of this problem, like if for one image you have multiple different outputs, and you can also have fast, high quality image edits with uh, little human effort. And for the application, you can like in in increase the quality of, of all the images or remove some details that you don't want to be in some images that you all all already have, and also you can make the edit pipeline of uh, the whole pro pro process accessible for everyone. Like you don't have to use Photoshop or Illustrator anymore. You can just give up a prompt uh, to some model with a desired image and it will take care of, of the edit for you. And I will talk about the, the background now. Uh, so all the all the work is done to diff the diffusion models, which are generative models that can pr produce e images or videos using a multi-step uh, a, a multi framework that removes some noise at, at each time. And there is there are two parts of this uh, process. To, during training, there are there is the forward and the, the reverse process, which can be seen in, in, the, in this image. So, a training time, you, you have an, an initial image, the one on the right, and you pro, pro, progressively no, noise it with some very ve, 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 scheduler uh, over multiple steps uh, t, which is usually 100 or more. And you end, end up with some pure Gaussian noise that you have at, at the end. And after that, the, the, the model needs to learn uh, steps in, in, in the reverse order using a fixed Markov chain that maximizes the like, likelihood of the of the training data. data. So at, at this step, the, the model just learns what noise to, 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 to remove in order to get to the previous one. And this is done for the same number of steps that the image was denoised from, for. And it was uh, shown experimentally that if you learn a model to also predict the noise for n steps in, in, instead of just one, it has um, be better performance. And for the architecture, the model, the models, ex the, the, the existing mo models usually have a unit architecture because the, the, the input has to be the, the same dim, dimensionality of, of the, as the output. And um, the information that passes through this unit architecture is the initial image. Uh, no, it's is the prompt. If, if the model has a prompt, if, if the mo model is just a gen generative one, like the or, or original diffusion models, which is usually uh, encoded, encoded using clip and the current time step that the model needs to have the, the information through some encoding that can be a sin, sinusoidal one. And uh, the recent works in diffusion mod models uh, came up with, 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 with the idea of latent diffusion models, which has the, the same idea as the in initial ones, but all the diffusion process is done in, in the late, late, latent, sp latent space of an 
autoencoder and now you usually this is done in a latent state latent space of a variational one which is the same idea as the normal autoencoders but the encoding of a, of, of a data point is not done in all in, in also a data point but in um a distribution in the latent space such that the latent space ends up being com complete and continuous. And the advantages of latent diffusion models are that they give high uh, uh, resolution results, preserve the details that are given in the prompt, and also they are more computationally efficient because usually the latent space is uh, very small compared to the to the uh, uh, resolution of a normal image. Uh, now there, there, there's also an idea of training such models, uh, generative ones called cl cl classifier free guidance, which has the aim to reduce the diversity of the generation of the generation results of, of the models but in, increase their uh, quality. And this is done by jointly tra training to uh, the division models, a conditional one and a non-conditional -con one. And the, the sampling is done using the, the formula seen um, here, where omega is a, per a parameter that controls the guidance, which is uh, from a, a number from zero to one. And this is uh, an, uh, an alternative to the initial um, approaches, which were using a classifier to, to guide the, the, the generation. But this, this is more comp computation efficient since there is just one model used. Now, if we have uh, two images, you need to, for the task of prompt based uh, Editing, you need to see how two, two images are, how much two images are, are similar to each other. And this can be done using um, cosine similarity. So if you have an image, you can encode it with a clip, which is a model that knows how to encode uh, images and texts. And you, you can encode e images and text using clip. And after that, you have a vector and you can co co compute just the co cosine uh, of these two vectors and get uh, the similarity the sim sim similarity between uh, two images. And, and, and also the similarity between a, a caption or a description of, of an image and the, the actual image. Now the, um, I'll talk about the related work in this area. Uh, the, for the first uh, published paper in the prompt-based image editing space is prompt to prompt, which is a, me a method for, for, for generating uh, two similar e images based on two prompts. And th this is done by generating the initial image using the normal diffusion models. And the second one, by generating, uh, by in injecting the initial cross attention maps of the first image in into the, gen the generation of the second for the first uh, t time steps, and this con controls how uh, how si how si how similar the resulting Im Im images are to each other. But this can, cannot edit an, an already existent image, but just gen generate two uh, similar, uh, similar images. The first model that um, aimed to edit an already existent image is prompt to prompt, uh, was trained on synthetic data that was generated by leveraging the power of um, large language models and um, text to image models. The captions were generated using GPT-3 and the image pairs uh, based on the captions were generated using the, the previous uh, presented prompt to prompt, prompt to prompt approach followed by some clip based filtering to, re to, to, to remove a part of the noise introduced by uh, prompt to prompt. 
And the architecture is the same as stable diffusion, but uh, it just adds some additional legs to uh, make it possible to have a conditioning on the in initial image. So the initial image is also introduced as the in input to the uh, diff diff diffusion model. And it is trained using class five free grinders with two conditionings, the initial text one and the new uh, image one. And this is this trained to uh, minimize the diff the diff Fusion objective uh, as in formula three, which uh, is to predict the noise that was added in, in the forward uh, process. And a uh, recent pa pa paper in, in this area is Lime, which was published in December, I think, and is is just some kind of a framework on, on, on top of inst Insta Pix to Pix that aims to improve the edit localization based on uh, an already computing com computed uh, semi-semitation map. The, the, the idea is that the dot product of every cross attention layers is uh, regularized such that the un unrelated tokens do not, does not have any impact in, in the edit. The unrelated tokens are some, uh, the padding tokens, the start of the text, the tokens and, and so on. Uh, but all the uh, re uh, research con conducted so far did, didn't have any uh, focus on the interior de de design setting. As can be seen here, it's, it's like pixel to pixel does not have uh, enough knowledge to be able to edit uh, the image in this uh, in this case. As can be seen, it's not it's not normal this edit. So I, the research con conducted was to uh, Im improve the performance of uh, the edit mo models in, in the interior design setting. And the idea was to first generate a data set for it. So I, the research uh, tried, the research conducted tried to create a context space specific data set for this uh, for this case but we know pre pre previously available data because there was not much data on the internet just images or texts but not something uh, that can be used for supervised uh, learning and each tuple in the in the training uh, in, in the the data set consisting consists of an, an image and an edit instruction and the output the output image so this was done in two steps the tech, the textual data generation and the image data generation the textual data was um, gen generated using uh, gpt4 we also uh, tried with gpt3 uh, 3.5 but the uh, diversity and the uh, richness of text was not um, the, the same, as good as with GPT-4. And we compared to the previous approaches, we generated all the three uh, elements of the, of the tuple, meaning that we have the initial ca caption of the image, the edit prompt, and the ca caption that was generated, um, that was edited based on that uh, edit prompt. And we generated uh, this thing, this data set with uh, high record difficulty, meaning that we have captions with just one object and captions with rooms with multiple objects. And this is a prompt that was used for GPT-3 uh, using in, in context learning, which we create uh, tasks, uh, room space specific agents, meaning that we have um, the task, the description of, of the task that it has to generate such text. Uh, after after it to remove the noise, it also state that in the remove cap caption and in the end it has to state if the of object is not present in, in the in the image or it is present in, in the image uh, spe spe specifically to remove the noise introduced after afterwards in the images. And we give this and uh, some examples with uh, the desired output. 
the image pairs were generated using prompt to prompt, but we uh, we generated for each caption pairs, we, we generated 30 pairs of, of, of images for the single object um, cases and 50 pairs of, of images for rooms. And, and, and after that, um, for each uh, caption pair, for all the generated Im images pairs, we take uh, top four pairs that uh, passes uh, some clip filtering uh, pi pipeline based on the sim similarity of images in order to remove the, the noise uh, from the gen generated images. And these are some examples, uh, the original image, the, the result of in this type pix to pix it can be seen is not very good and the generation of uh, our data set. We also tried to um, address a problem that was not um, addressed before to also introduce in the data set some samples that has that, that have an, an edit prompt that, that doesn't uh, change the, the output image. For example, here we say remove a chair, the, the chair, but there, there is no chair in the image. So the, the output image needs to be the same as the original one. On the in, initial generated data, we uh, fine tuned in start pix to pix, but uh, reduced the uh, image size uh, to half, and and also we we trained in float 60, 16 precision due to uh, uh, li limited resources, and we see that um, based on the on, on different metrics, the in in start pix to pix, uh, the fine tuned one is better than the original one, where clip. I am means from for the similarity between the in initial and the, the output image. The direction means that it's the similar similarity between the changes in the text and the changes in the images. And clip out is the similarity between the uh, output caption and the uh, edited image by the by the model. And this is, can be seen our model. Uh, learns to edit the images uh, better than the vanilla in start pix to pix But there are also, um, we also try to fine tune on the pro proposed unchanged da data, but uh, 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 results in this field were, were not uh, very, very good because the, the model learns that it doesn't have to change anything in, in the images. So yeah, the, the results are not, uh, are not good. Now, we also tried to augment the edit lo localization of the, of the, uh, the model uh, with the same idea presented by Lime, but we used uh, referring Presentation model, which has the task to output a segmentation mask based on an image and the reference to the object, but to use the generalized version, which has the ability to, to compute the mask for multiple objects in the image. And, and also, it has a support for the case where the object is not present in the image. And uh, this, this is the pipeline for achieving this. We have the initial image. We make an agent via in context learning with Llama 3 with the 8 billion parameter version to ext extract the uh, reference to, to the objects from the edit prompt. After that, we uh, feed this uh, uh, reference to the RELAM model, which, which is the model that Com computes the segmentation map. And after that, we feed the in initial edit prompt, the, the image and the segmentation map into the modified in start pix, pix, pix to pix version to compute the, the, the edit. However, even if the edit localization is improved so far, experiments did not, uh, and, uh, did not concluded with, uh, good results in the 
edit application, meaning that the localization is good, but it can be seen here. Uh, the wood does not have a normal texture, a, a, a natural one. And here the localization is good, but it's not able to remove the, the chair. It just have a random application of the edit. Now I want to talk about the challenges uh, that were that arised up here. It, it can be seen that the st stable diff diffusion does not have a good understanding of of the interior design um, case because in, instead of a big skin rug, it, it is a, a teddy bear toy, and instead of a ball of pine cones, it's just a pine cone at the top of the of the room, so it doesn't make any sense. And to, to improve this, we can ge generate the, the, the images with, deep, with different models like Muse, Imagen, or some uh, fine-tuned stable diff diffusion ver version for interior design. It's available on Hacking Face. Also, uh, in, in the gen 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 generated data, the, there are also instances that, does not, that doesn't follow the edit prompt correctly. This can be seen here. If we we want to change the glass top from whatever it is to uh, to a wooden top, but here is just some kind of marble or plastic, so it's not a good example for for, for the model to learn from. And a, sol a solution to this would be to. Uh, make a more compre comprehensive fill filtering pipeline that was presented in, in, in the recent paper from, from Meta, MO Edit, that they uh, in, in enhance the, the pipeline using uh, using some image de detectors that validate the success of, uh, of adding or removing the object in the resulting image or just to inject the segmentation mask of the of object under edit um, in the prompt to prompt uh, approach. And to increase the diversity in, in the data set, it just has to gen, 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 generate the textual data with different models like Lama 3, Gemini, or Mistral, or Mistral 8, and to generate the, the images with, diff with different uh, models as I said before. And this was my presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention. If there are if there are any questions, I'm pleased to respond.